Hello and welcome everyone. I don't think I've started a video outside since my first YouTube video ever but today I'm going thrifting. I'm currently in front of my favorite thrift store. I figured I would start this video outside today. So today I want to take you with me on a little thrift adventure. I am looking for all sorts of pieces, 60s clothes obviously, honestly just whatever beautiful and unique thing we can find and today is actually a major throwback because I have a doctor's appointment in my hometown so I'm gonna go thrifting to all the spots and locations that I love to go to and used to go to a lot. I just honestly think think this is such a fun idea. I haven't gone thrifting in such a long time. As you guys know, I moved to a place where thrifting isn't really as available anymore. So now we're just gonna hit up all the old locations and have a look around. It is still pretty cold, but it's sunny and it's going to be warm today. I hope I can show you my outfit later because what I'm wearing is actually really beautiful, but let's just get going and see what we can find in this first store. So upon entering the store, I first of all made my way to the kitchenware section, looked at some things. They had some beautiful pieces, but nothing that I loved. And then I went over to the art section because we're actually still looking for a piece to hang above our sofa, but that didn't really work out either for me. So I just looked around at all the little trinkets and things. And even though I liked a few things, I didn't really like anything that much that I wanted to get it. So I just had a look around the furniture area and now I'm gonna go to like the clothes and everything and they actually have 50% off all winter clothes so that's going to be very exciting. Let's have a look. When I went upstairs I first had a look around the shoe section and I actually really like these boots. These style boots were actually popular in the 60s and 70s however they were in a bad condition so I decided to pass on them. I also had a look around all the other shoes and then made my way over. Found this really cool little pillow that I didn't need it but figured I would include for the pattern. I then made my way over to the belts, had a look around these but since I can't really wear them right now I won't be looking for them. And then I found this purse that I really like but I feel like I have a lot of purses and that one wasn't really that special to me. The mandatory thrift store wedding gown and then I found this beautiful dress. This is from the early 70s probably. Also found this skirt that I kind of liked but that was very stained. This skirt that I actually ended up getting because I loved it so so much and had another look around the coats but didn't really get lucky with that either. So I found quite a great amount of things already. Let me quickly walk you through what I have before I will then try things on. However, since I'm nine months pregnant, I'm not too sure how the trying on will go, but I love this dress. I think it's from the 70s, it's like a floor length black dress, and it has such a cute little like tag you can see in here. It's a Swedish brand. I would love to go with this, so maybe I will just take the risk. We will see. I also found this skirt from the 60s, which I really love. I love the color, however, same problem. I just don't know if I can try this on or if it will fit me after pregnancy, so we will see. I found this really cool vintage blouse with like a big plastic buttons that I love. I feel like this is definitely an option. So with this dress, I like it a lot. It's from the 70s, I'd say. And it just has like the cutest little cut. However, it might be a little small on me, I think. We will see. I will just try to get it on. And then I feel like from the way that it will fit me, I can tell if it will fit me after pregnancy. So I found this little thing, which I'm not even entirely sure what it is. But I love to wear these as little capes. And I just think the fabric is a dream come true. I'm honestly not sure about this dress because I'm sure it's pretty big on me. I will have to try this on and see if I like it. But it's like a knitted long dress with golden buttons in the front and these white details. I really like it, but if it fits me oddly, I don't think I will wear it. So I will have to try this on. I found this in like the Halloween dress up bin, but I love it. It's like this little hat. I think this will be perfect for mod looks. Let's see, I can try this one on with you real quick. Oh yeah, this is perfect. 
Definitely gonna get this, it's such a cool look. In this thrift store, most things don't have prices, so you never know how much you will pay until you actually check out. Only like a few pieces have prices. Like this blouse, this one is four bucks, but I really love the sleeves, like the ruffled sleeve. I feel like this could be really cute to be layered. I also found this shiny little black top, which I also think would be great for layering looks. And I just love this shiny fabric. I think you can do a lot of cool things with it. Plus, it has this part, which I believe is the back side. But I'm kind of feeling like you could wear the front and the back and the other way around. So this might be really cool. I already have a lot of crochet jackets, but this one, it's silver and sparkly. I kind of feel like I need to get this. This is also from the priced area, it's five bucks, so that's like rather expensive for this kind of store. But I feel like this would be really cute. And then last but not least, I actually have a lot from this brand. This is like a German brand that was popular in the 60s. And I picked up this green little blazer, however I'm not too sure about this piece either, so I'll have to try this on as well. And then, of course, before I could leave this thrift store, I had to do the mandatory record section check and I didn't find anything, but they had some funny things. I just left the store and I'm walking back to my car now to like drive to my hometown fully because this was kind of like a halfway little thing. I actually ended up getting some things. I paid 18 euros in total, which I think is a great deal for all the things that I got and I'm actually really excited. I feel like that was a great selection. I'm gonna drive back to my hometown now and then have a look around because the stores there are a little more curated, like not a lot. That obviously also kind of like reflects on the pricing, but just a little more. So I hope I can find some more great things there. I wanted to take you with me into the changing rooms, but the space was so narrow, I just couldn't manage to do that. However, I think I'm just gonna do either a try-on portion at the end of the video, but that'll probably be too long, so it might also just be the next video. I think I said this before, but I'm actually kind of blind. <laughs> I need to wear glasses when driving and doing a lot of other things. It's actually starting to get a lot warmer, so I just took off my coat. And now I'm just gonna take on the drive. It's like another half an hour. I drove here half an hour and then it's another half an hour to go back home. I'm also kind of excited because tonight I'm gonna meet my dad, which I'm really happy about. I haven't seen him in a while. He was actually in England. He's a magician and so he was gone for a little. Um, however, that's really exciting for me as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking now and drive to the next store. This first store I went to was so full, but this is my little outfit check that I did for you. I kind of went for this all purple look with this gorgeous velvet and silk dress. And then I had a look around the pants and skirts. I did really like this one, however, it was definitely modern, so I didn't pick it up. Then just had a look through all the dresses. I found these three bracelets that I ended up getting because I loved them. And then took a look at these shoes. They weren't my size, but they were really cool. By the way, this is what I'm wearing today. I kind of really like it, but in here, I feel like the lighting is very bad in this dressing room. But it's kind of full outside, so I came here to hide away. These are the things that I found. I really like this top. It's pretty interesting. It has like a little slit right here, and then these details. It reminded me of the Fool. I need to find out if I can steam this and if it fits me. And I found this dress, which I don't know if I love or I don't. I feel like I need to try this on as well. But I really like the pattern and like the quilted look. However, it is 14 bucks, which I consider a lot when it comes to vintage clothes. Then I have this one, which I actually just wanted to show you. This is also like a 60s dress. It's made from wool. I don't like dresses like this because they're so heavy. It's beautiful with like the little buttons right here. I just wanted to share this with you. And then all the way back here, I have this dark blue, navy blue dress. I love the crocheted sleeves and everything, but I have the feeling that this is going to be way too big on me. So we'll have to see. Okay, so this dress fits me. I tried on that green top over there. It does not work with my boobs. <laughs> but with this dress, I mean, it fits me. It looks really nice. I just don't know if I love it. I don't know if I will wear this during like, the summer. I love the colors though, and like the fabric. 
It's like a nice thick cotton material. Plus, I just love the pattern. I kind of think it's cute, but I'm not sure if I will wear it. Hmm. It's a maybe for now. I just fixed the little ties on the sides and now I feel like it's actually a lot cuter. It also has pockets. Maybe I'm just gonna get it because now it also like fits me really well and it is kind of cute. So I feel like this is like a timeless piece that I really love. It's a length I don't do a lot and I feel like it makes me look shorter but it also kind of looks really cute. So maybe this actually is an option. I'll have to consider it, but comment down below if you would have gotten this dress. So I do love this dress, however, it's just way too big on me. Like even now, nine months pregnant, it's so big on me. I will not get this, but I hope someone comes in and snags it because it's so cute, but it's just so big. But it's a very, very beautiful look. Also, I just put up a poll on Instagram asking about this dress because I'm so unsure about it, to be honest. So if you want to be part of polls like this, make sure to follow my Instagram. I'm going to have it linked right here for you. But I basically take you through my day there all the time and show you little sneak peeks, little behind the scenes and all of that. So if you're looking for daily 16th, 17th inspiration, make sure to follow me. Before leaving the store, I checked the glass section and they had a lot of stained glasses and also artwork that I liked. It was pretty overpriced, so I decided not to get any of that. Also took a look into the purses bins, but didn't find anything either. I just made it to the next thrift store. It's so hot and sunny. I took off my jacket. It's 20 degrees almost today. I have no idea how that happened, but let's go inside and check this one out. This next store also has the homeware section downstairs, so I first of all took a look at those things. I really like this set, but figured I didn't have like any reason to get it. The same with this little painted wood set, some wooden little treasures, but I just decided that I already have so many of these that I didn't get anything. And as said, I'm just looking for bigger artwork currently. And then I took a look at all the necklaces. I actually ended up getting all three of these because I love them. And then I went upstairs to the clothes. This is a store where they have like a lot of different things but a lot of modern things. However, I found this perfect 70s mini skater dress. These are the things that I picked. I feel like this one comes out more blue on camera. It's actually pretty purple. This 70s dress, I love this so much. I hope these fit a little like crochet top and a crochet dress and some jewelry, but let's try these on first. I love this dress. I feel like currently it doesn't look the best. Like it's definitely gonna look better when I'm not pregnant anymore. But it fits me really nice. I love like that front seam right here. Let me show you. So these sort of like straight front seams were really popular in the 60s. I think it's a really cool look. And with this, I'm actually thinking that I'm probably going to shorten it to be like a mini dress. But I love it. I think the color is beautiful. I'm going to get this. This is the most perfect 70s wrap dress and you cannot change my mind. It looks so weird with my bum currently, but I cannot wait to wear this afterwards. I love the sleeves. These like little button details. I think this is such a cute dress. I will definitely get this one as well. I can't really show you the full view of this because I'm only wearing tights and no real pants. But this is so cute. Let me show you maybe if I can turn it around. I feel like this you can even see it better. It's so cute. I love the little like poofy sleeves. My hair is so destroyed from all the trying on. But honestly, I really, really like this. I'm gonna get this as well. And yes, I am 34 weeks pregnant almost. <laughs> Breaching point. I honestly am very happy when I'm not pregnant anymore now because everything is just getting heavy at this point. This final thrift store is pretty random and really small, but I found this gorgeous vintage mirror. I also had a look around all the accessories and things and I actually love this little placemat that I'm definitely going to use as an artwork. The lighting in here is terrible, please excuse that, but I found the cutest 60s jumpsuit and it fits me really well right now and I'm thinking that I can just tailor it when I'm not pregnant anymore so I really want to get this. And I also found the most amazing wool skirt 
This one currently doesn't fit me, but it's my regular size. So I'm just going to get this. It actually is like a midi length skirt. I don't know if you've ever heard of this brand, but Moffat Weavers is actually a popular brand. And they started making these skirts in the late 60s, so I have to get one. And this is also really inexpensive, so I will definitely get this. I just left that last little thrift store and came to this beautiful area right here. It's so gorgeous. I still have around 20 minutes left before my doctor's appointment. I'm just going to my OBGYN to check in with the baby and everything. So that's exciting. But I quickly wanted to end this video. I wanted to thank you for spending time with me today. Thank you for coming thrifting. I had a blast and I hope you did too. Leave a comment down below telling me which of the pieces that I found was your favorite. The next video is definitely going to be a haul. I'm going to show you everything that I got. We're going to go a little more into detail about the different pieces. I'm going to tell you more about the 60s and 70s. I'm probably going to style all these pieces for you. So that is going to be really excited and I would love to have you around for that next video. I hope you can hear me. There are some cars going by but... I couldn't find a better spot because we're still pretty much inside the city and oh look that's cute even like some little flowers around here maybe i can put that here for the rest yes <laughs> i love picking flowers but anyways i hope you have a beautiful day thank you for spending time with me today go out enjoy the sunshine take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and i will catch you in the next one bye everybody Thank you.